uh, hi in this video we are going to see how to use if else uh, statement in data wave so in order to do that i'll just quickly create one new project where we are going to add a transform message and also we are going to verify from that so i'll just add data wave if else demo i'll just create a mule application with this project name so now the project is getting created so once it's created i'll add the required steps so how i'm going to verify this particular application i'm going to add a http listener and we are going to post some requests from postman application so in order to do that i'll add a listener and i'll keep with default 8081 port and i'll just give okay and here i'm just going to validate voting i'm going to validate so this is my end point so what i'm going to do is so we are going to send some payload with age value for example if age equal to greater than or equal to greater than or equal to 18 then we are going to print like voting is eligible if it is else then i'm going to send it like voting is not eligible so that this is what we are going to do from data wave so how we are going to do in data wave so that is what you are going to see now so i add a listener and uh, from postman i'm going to post data to this particular endpoint and i'll add a variable here so we are going to send the age value in the body of the request and we are going to take that and that one we are going to validate in using transform message so we are going to validate using data wave with the help of transform message set variable what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the age value so this is my variable or i'll just call this as a input payload so whatever it is coming from the payload i'm going to take whatever it's coming in the payload i'm going to store it in this variable and i'll just keep my test data ready so how i am going to send it localhost 8081 slash and uh, endpoint name is i'll just copy from here validate voting so i just copied it and the data i'm going to send it on a, i'm just clicking this raw there i'm going to specify json and i'm going to send some json data so json will send the value in the key value pair so age is my key and value i'll send it like 25 or 24 so this is my data so now if i send the request we'll get a failure because there is no listener at this endpoint it's running with this particular port and i'll just uh, take that age value so now whatever we are taking it from the payload the entire payload whatever we are passing it will get stored in input payload as a variable so now we are going to validate that in our transform message so how do we validate so i'll just uh, add some variable called result this is my key in my json and i'll just keep colon here and i'll just convert this to j from java to json and result we are going to add some if condition if and value is coming in where's dot input payload so that will give entire payload in that payload i'm going to take only this field age okay so here age e greater than or equal to 18 then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to set this as a output if and you just check the condition greater than or equal to 18 here i'm going to print like voting is eligible else you can type else here similarly you can put the open and close parenthesis and you can say voting is not eligible and then there's a closing parenthesis so we have done that so there's a condition and what is the output and if it is else if it is not matching with that condition and what do you want to send it in a output so now i'll just start this application I'm already running some application. I'm going to stop that and I'm going to stop this particular project. 
So meanwhile, we kept all our data is ready. So once our application is deployed, we are going to send some request to this particular mule application. Yeah, so it's almost, uh, it's going to get deployed. So meanwhile, if you send the request also, you'll get the same response only because the application is still not up. Yeah, the application is up and you're able to see 200 OK and voting is eligible. See here, your application is showing deployed. That's why we're able to see the result here. Voting is eligible because we have given a condition here. If input payload age equal to greater than or equal to 18, then we are printing voting is eligible. Okay. Else we have to print this one. Okay. So now I'll just give a different data as 24 is greater than or equal to 18. That's why we are getting voting is eligible. So I'll just change this to some other value. Okay. I'll just give 17 and I'll try to run it and you'll be able to see voting is not eligible. So this way you can add a if condition, I'll just try to put the same condition in this notepad and you can see completely here. If variable dot input payload equal to greater than equal to 18, then voting is eligible, else voting is not eligible. Similarly, if you wanted to add ampersand or and condition, right, then you can add it here itself. For example, I wanted to add and I wanted to check the criteria based on different variable. For example, I'll just go and uh, add one more variable here and I'll call this as a ID card available. There is a one more uh, field I'm adding. If this ID card available, then only I'm eligible to vote. So I'll just say ID card available equal to yes. Then only I wanted to print this uh, voting is eligible. Even if it is greater than or equal to 18, for example, I'm sending 24. And if I send ID card not available, then still I'm not eligible to vote. So that is a condition I wanted to make it. So when age is greater than or equal to 18 and also ID card is available, then only I wanted to make that voting is eligible. So basically earlier we had added this condition, right? Now I wanted to add this also age greater than or equal to 18 and ID card available equal to yes. Then only voting eligible not voting is not eligible so this is what i wanted to try so how do we try so this is a field right so i'll just copy this value so this is the payload here you have to add or what you have to do you have to copy the same thing here i'll just copy this one and i'll put it here and before that i'll just add ampersand simple and i'll put this one so there is one more variable i'm going to add it which is id card available instead of age I'm just changing it to ID card available there I'm just making equal to simple and then double quote I'm just making yes and as we have added one more condition here I'm just going to wrap this with one more parenthesis see here here I'm adding one more parenthesis which is starting and ending here where we have added age greater than or equal to 18 and input payload and id available card equal to yes if age greater than or equal to 18 and available id card available equal to yes then i'm just uh, giving this voting is eligible otherwise i'm just saying voting is not eligible even though i'm having more than 18 as a age okay so i'll just copy this content and i'll put it into transfer message i've added the condition now i just saved it There's one issue. I'm just checking what is that issue. So the parenthesis is not closed properly. I'll just check that. See here. This parenthesis is ending here, which is correct. And this symbol, right? Instead of ampersand in data way, we need to use and. I'll just copy this now. I'll paste it now here. See, the error is gone now. So that's the syntax we have to give a and d in data wave. Okay, so now I'll just uh, whatever we have changed it that is getting deployed and it started the app as well. I'll try to run it now. 
if id card is equal to available equal to yes and age is equal to greater than 14 greater than 18 because i gave the value as 24 and i'm just trying to send the request now see voting is eligible and if i'm going to give id card available equal to no then it should come as voting is not eligible see here voting is not eligible it's coming and id card is yeah so this is the condition i wanted to try so we have added a condition and based on that condition we are able to see the result in case of if the condition is matching then we are getting this first value as a result if the condition is not matching whatever we have given it in a else that is what it's coming in a output of our application thank you uh, hi thank you for watching this video so far if you like the video please share it with your friends and also subscribe to this tech lightning channel thank you bye bye Thank you.